Today I'm going to talk about another uh, use case in our, of a complex app uh, using built in Bravo. Um, this one's a little bit different. So we actually built this app, which is a CRM one, um, to work with an existing demo of uh, WeWeb and Xano um, template. Um, so uh, in fact, I'm just to show you here. Um, They've actually got a big description of how this app works or the data structure has put together. So I won't talk about that in detail, but I'll just show you how you can um, use Bravo to connect to an existing web app. And I think this is a really important use case uh, for Bravo. Uh, a lot of people have built, built web apps. Um, they've got a lot of it set up. Um, and actually Bravo is incredibly easy to add um, a native mobile application to an existing web app. Uh, it can reuse the vast majority of the API requests that are already there. Um, you can just basically hook it in, you know, create your design and then hook in Bravo to your existing web app structure um, and get that native app functionality. This is particularly helpful for people who are trying to, you know, enable mobile notifications or doing app purchasing or kind of leverage some of the mobile features that the web app uh, or progressive web app or web app couldn't quite do in a, on, a, on a mobile format. And plus it also gets you into the app store, which can be helpful for um, acquisition or just raising awareness. So anyway, um, what, I, what I'm gonna do in this video is just talk about not the detail of the app application itself, but much more around just how you, how you get it to set up um, with Bravo. And then you can see the, the WeWeb instructions of how it works. And I think we're gonna try and do more of these examples because it's a great combination of using WeWeb for web, um, Bravo for the mobile side, and then Xano for the back end. Um, they, they, all, all those tools work really well together. Okay, let's get started. The first step um, is let's start with Xano. Um, now, I'm just creating an empty workspace. So you could create a new account on Xano and you'd end up in a similar place. Um, I'm not gonna add anything extra to this. I'm just gonna leave it uh, empty because it will import all the things that we need to do. Um, let's do that. And I'm just going to skip all that for now. So we've got a nice empty workspace. Now, the, what we've done is we've created a snippet, which I'll put a link into the um, uh, into the description of the video. Uh, that's the snippet we've created. It's a WeWeb Bravo Serum snippet, if you want to find it. Now, I've already added it to my account, uh, but you can do that by clicking the button. And then once it's added to your account, what you can do is you can go to the workspace that you uh, want to use um, and then go to the marketplace and then go to your purchase ones and there it is the web snippet so if I click on that I can just install it uh, and install and what that's going to be doing is it's going to be pulling in all the code it's going to be pulling in the data and the database structure schema and setting it all up so I'm pulling in the whole the backend application into um, my well, there's Xano instance setting it all up. Uh, actually, this is a really powerful feature of Xano. It's one of my favorite things is being able to create these backends and reuse them and, and share them. Uh, it really helps to show off the power of Bravo. Um, and it also gives you a lot of flexibility so you can um, reuse the stuff that other people have done. Okay. So now uh, if you go to um, API, you can see the default, there's some endpoints in there. And if I look at the database, you've got the database there as well. Um, and for example, if I look at the users, you can see all the users that have been put in there. So the whole, all the, the, the app is all, the backend is all set up. And if you go to the API and uh, default, what you can see, um, see here is, let's, let's pick one of these, like the company API endpoint, you've got an endpoint URL. So we've got everything set up with an endpoint URL. Actually, this is my endpoint predominantly, um, um, but I've got all the APIs and data set up for the backend ready to, to start work. So um, the next step um, is going to be setting up the Bravo side of things, which I'll show you next. Okay, the next step is to pull um, the CRM app uh, into Bravo. Now we've actually set this up as a sample app and it's really easy um, to, to bring into your Bravo account. Um, I'm in Bravo right now. Uh, so I guess go to sample apps. There's the CRM app with Xano. Click on that and duplicate. And what this does is this pulls the application in and the really cool thing about this is it's already pre-set up um, with the Xano uh, examples on our backend. So if you look at the screen, you can see that all of the um, 
well, the bindings are in place, so it's ready to be used. Don't worry about the next screen. Um, on, on a free plan, you'll see that, um, but you'll be able to use it in the Bravo Vision Previewer, um, so you can really see how this all works. Okay, so that's that's in Bravo. What I'm going to do now uh, is just turn off my um, Bravo screen and turn on the mobile one. So this is my Bravo screen. And if I pull down, you can see there it is. Uh, so I can log in. Uh, again, next screen, but don't worry about that. It's still working. So let's go log in. Um, let's log in with my test account. Oops, easy. And that. And log in. And see, there, there's the data. I can look at the data, okay. Um, I can add, add notes. I can use this as a CRM app. This is a fully working application. Um, I can look at the companies. You know, all the data is available just as in the, the CRM in the WeWeb app. We've done our mobile version, which is a fully uh, working native mobile application. And obviously you can extend this and do more things. You could add in notifications to it. You can do more things with the mobile functionality that we provide in Bravo. But the core is you've got that standard Xano backend working with both WeWeb and, and with Bravo all through the same APIs. Okay, um, I'll just do one, one last tip, which is if you want to get that now take this forward and kind of have a play with this and learn about yourself, you might want to, rather than using the standard backend we set up, is add it to your own. So I'll show you how to, do that on the, how to do that on the next step. In this last part, what I want to cover off is just um, how to connect this to your own backend. So obviously, we've just built the, taken the sample app and um, copied it into your Bravo account so you can use it in Bravo Vision. That's already set up. The key thing now is to say, okay, let's say I want to make some changes rather than because at the moment it's connected to our Figma file, the design, and it's connected to our Xano instance to the Xano side. So if you want to change the um, uh, the Xano endpoints, you can point it at a completely different instance if you like by just changing the URLs. So I'll just do that now. So if we go into um, the API collections, and the one for, for this this account is here. And if you see here, these are all the requests that are being used by this uh, app. Um, and they're all bound to different parts of Bravo. And all you need to do is basically change this part of the um, URL, this, the, the instance really address basically, um, to your um, new one. So if you have a new instance, if you create the snippet and copy it to yourself, if you just grab that, uh, the, the domain name of the URL, um, the actual API um, definition and the actual API, the rest of the endpoint can stay the same. You just need to re replace that um, part of the URL for all those different things. It takes It's not super easy, but it takes a couple of minutes. You'll have the whole app pointing at a new instance, which you can then play around with yourself. Um, so it's pretty easy. So just getting the snippet, updating the URL for your new instance, which you can get from Xano, and you're good to go. Okay, I think that's everything from this, um, talking through this app. Um, you can see that with using snippets, you can actually really quickly get an app together. And um, we're gonna be trying to do build much many more things with them. Um, it's a great comment, Bravo and, and Xana with snippets is a, is a really quick way of building up a lot of functionality. Um, hope you found this useful and look out for more videos. Thanks.